Hey everyone, I am back with another Le Bomb moment. So check this toilet out. Oh, can you see that? Okay, we are going to Le Bomb that toilet and get rid of all that lime scale that's built up in it there. It is a liquid formula, which means that it's gonna get in and it's gonna eat away at that lime scale. So let's get to it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our one litre of Le Bomb here. And as you can see with this build up, it's a, a lot of it is right, right on the water line there. So we're not gonna scoop out any of the water because we need Le Bomb to be you know, eating into that rim line. It's going to be heavily diluted. So let's just see what results we get out of that. Okay, that's half a bottle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna agitate that and get that solution to start working away. And then we're going to let it just sit for a while and give it a chance to eat away at that. Now this is pretty old. Let me just pop that up. This is a pretty old stain. This is about 17 years old. So I know it's been sitting here for a while. If you have rust marks coming down this part of your toilet, it will get rid of that as well. Oh my goodness, this is so caked up. So caked up. Look at that, it's not even budging yet. So I know that they've tried steel wool on this toilet. And I'm scraping with, these grout brushes are great because look at, see that pointy end there? So that pointed end is a really good scraper because it doesn't hurt the porcelain. So if he's had steel wool at this, um, it means that it's going to be super caked on because um, the lime scales had time to eat in to where the steel brush marks have been. Okay, so we can see how bad this stain is, which means it needs a little bit of sitting, it needs, well, more than a little bit of sitting time, it needs a lot of sitting time. And it probably, it might need more than a litre, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Still sitting there. Alrighty. Let's leave it and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. It's been about two hours now, so I'm going to give that a little bit of a scrub and see how we go. Okay, it's definitely working its magic. It's coming off, loving that. And this is with really heavily diluted solutions. Tuck away at some of those sides. These sides are really tough because they're sitting right on the waterline and it's hard not to get the solution. I just saw a big chunk coming off then. Especially as, see how the waterline goes down as well? Tough. Anyway, it will come off. Don't worry. That is still really heavy on the bottom there. Look at that. It is looking better, but wow, this toilet has got some serious problems. All right, I want to get some neat chemical on here now. Not so, di so diluted, and I'm going to do the bottom of the toilet. I probably should have started with that but hey, that's okay. We'll start with the bottom and then we'll work our way and we'll do this rim bit a bit later. Okay, I've scooped out a lot of the water in that toilet. I am going to put in the remaining half litre that I've got. And I'm, I'm, and I'm going to add in a little bit more as well because I this really does need a heavy, heavy hand. It needs, a, it needs a big hand actually. So probably, I would say that maybe two litres of this would do the trick. The solution is neat in there now and I've put it above that line. So there's a little bit of water diluting it, but if this doesn't work, my goodness, I don't know what will. <laughs> we'll see. It's strange because in this toilet, it's not coming off in chunks like it normally does. It seems to want to dissolve it because it doesn't want to come off that porcelain. And maybe that's because of the steel wool uh, that was previously in there. So I'm thinking that it, that's created a bit of a 
a groove in the porcelain that um, has enabled the lime scale to really settle in there. But what I do notice is that on the corner here is that in, I'm giving it a little bit of a scrub and it's just dissolving away. It's not coming off in any big chunks, but it is dissolving. So I would say that this needs, this toilet specifically, would have been more beneficial to have started with no water and very neat chemicals. And then letting it sit there, letting it sit there for a while so that it can dissolve away. So if you find that it's not doing what you think it should do and it's not chipping off, then try something different. So try letting it just sit there for a bit because it does need to sit there and dissolve. Okay. Right, so I have been giving it a little bit of a scrub and it is coming off here. So we're gonna have a look at what it looks like now. And then if there's still stuff in the bottom, what we're going to do, which I think there will be, we are going to leave it overnight because this family is going to come home soon and they're not going to want me in their house. So <laughs> still, still with my head in their toilet. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's looking much better, but it's still not where I want it to be. But wow, that is looking so much better. Yeah, so it's still, look at that. How much better is that? Look at that big flake of lime scale in there. Can you see that? Hey everyone, okay, we are back again at the problem toilet. So we've left it overnight. I've got the little sign on there, don't use. And if I open up the lid, all right, that looks pretty disgusting, right? But as I mentioned, this lime scale was a really tough one. So it's more of, it needs to dissolve it as opposed to it being able to get chipped away. So it did take some time. Normally it works really quickly and people can get this done within an hour using the bomb but not on this one. This one was a super, super tough one. So let's get to it and give it a little bit of an agitate with a toilet brush and see how it comes up. But yeah, let's get that one solved. Get the, get the grout brush and get in there. So I'm gonna pop the camera around here so that you can still see what's happening. I've got my gloves on. Okay, that is literally just falling away. All right, let's give it another flush. Okay, so that is major success. That is amazing. They are gonna be so happy with that toilet. I'm gonna to flush it again because the lime scale keeps dropping down there. And yeah, there you go. One nice, clean, happy toilet. Happy me. I'm so excited. That's good. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long one, but I wanted you to see that even with these tough, tough stains, it can be done. But what I do recommend is that it's left overnight. So if you find that the water stays clear, so if you're scrubbing or doing that initial agitation and you're finding that the water is staying clear, which means that it's not coming off very quickly, leave it leave it and leave it overnight because it's going to be a bit of a tough toilet to do but it can be done you do not need to replace your toilet thank you so much for watching i will catch you another time when we go and tackle another tough toilet so give it a go you don't need to replace your toilet just la vomit and you're done happy days bye